Hey there friends, I was going through my safe playing with my ARs like I always do. I thought it might be cool to make a video, show you what I have and you can let me know what you have and what you think and which one you like the best. The first one I'll show you here is a Red X Arms Upper Stainless Steel 16 inch Heavy Bar Target Crown Barrel. Have an Aero Precision Lower with a Spikes Trigger. Have a Magpul ACS Stock. And the optics I'm running is a Bushnell Trophy Red or Green T-Dot. Here's my Colt 6920 M4. Love this gun. I have it mag pulled up in flat dark earth. The optics I'm running here is an EOTech 511. The only difference between the 511 and the 512 is that the 511 has different buttons as well as not the shroud that the 512 has to protect it. Other than that, it's all EOTech, same mechanism. Have an ACS stock on here, and all in all, just a phenomenal gun. Here's my AR pistol. A lot of people say, why do you even need an AR pistol? And the answer is, you don't. But if you want ease of handling and maneuverability, this may be the firearm for you. I absolutely love it, works great. It's all AR, just a little bit shorter and easier to maneuver around. Running an EOTech 512 over here, uh, ergo grip and angled foregrip. It is legal to have an angled foregrip on an AR pistol. Okay, you're not allowed to have vertical foregrip, but uh, an angled foregrip absolutely is legal. Just an outstanding all around gun, and I show it off in every video I possibly can. Here's my latest, it's from Palmetto State Armory. If you've been watching them lately, they've been running some crazy sick deals on their uppers and lowers, and I got in on it. Here's a 16 inch M4 flat top, chrome lined barrel. Uh, the lower is a Palmetto State Armory, changed out to a Rogers stock UTG front grip, have a CAA forward grip, and a Ruger deploy front flip. The optics that I'm running is a Vortex Strike Fire, and <laughs> this is very light. I'm running, a, obviously, a single point here. Love the gun. Got an amazing deal on it. Just put it together recently. I can't wait to go out to the woods and shoot it up. Okay, I couldn't leave this one out. This is my Ruger Mini 14 with an ATI tactical stock. Couldn't leave this one out. It's not an AR because it doesn't have a buffer tube and buffer because it has a fixed gas piston system, which also allows the stock to be folded in and fire like this. Uh, love this gun. A little heavier with the ATI stock, but still works well. You can see I have the scope rings on here without an optic. Still looking for the perfect one for me. Uh, reliability, first class with the Mini 14. Just couldn't leave it out of the, the mix here. Absolutely love this gun. A lot of Mini 14 fans out there, so be sure to weigh in on what you think of this gun. Okay, I love them all. Like a lovesick high school kid. I admit it. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, which ones you think I still need to get, and which one's your favorite. I appreciate you watching, and you guys be safe.